Okay, now that the submerged castle has been taken care of, let's just make sure that everything is 100%ed here. All flags, all flags. Good! The first three areas are 100%ed, so let's head over to the Wistful Wild. And boy, is this place beautiful. It's based off of fall. Each of the areas we've seen are based off of different seasons, if you didn't notice that. So, yep. Fall is notorious for being beautiful, and thus, we will be in awe the entire time. And we also start out on a yield sign. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to take out not anything more than a hundred. You know, that would lower my Pikmin count to below a hundred in terms of purples here, just to be excessively safe. And I'm gonna take out a bunch of blues, like a lot of blues. Eh, probably 60 blues will be delightful for this. On everyone, 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 good, 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 good. And now let's get, I guess, 15 yellows. And the rest will be... Uh, hold on, I uh, forgot about the whites. Uh, let's get... Hmm, I guess the rest white, so we don't really need reds just yet. So yeah, let's go on with this team. No reds will be good as is. Attack stuff with blues if you can, because, you know, they're pretty much the most expendable after I bred up so many of them. Oh, this is the thing that I need 100 purple Pikmin for. Check this out. The weight is 1,000 Pikmin carrying weights. Yes, so 1,000 times the 10 of... Uh, uh, that purples can carry times 100 is, uh, I mean, it's, excuse me, 100 purples times the 10 weight that they can carry is 1,000. Got it? Good. And that's why we needed them. Uh, I'm gonna take care of that decorated cannon beetle with a captain here. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, I would very much appreciate if you were to, uh, suicide yourself here. I know you don't like doing that all that much, but, you know, some things just gotta happen for our survival. Oh, oh, that one mustn't have been a very crisp hit, because it didn't cause that much damage. Okay, one more time, go around, and we're gonna kind of lead you around so that you don't break apart your own rocks, and there we go! <laughs> I'm so cheerful when it comes to the death of other critters, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now what I'm gonna do here is lead this guy off to the side, and we're gonna start attacking it from behind! Yes, 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 go, 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 Come on, knock it out. Knock it out. There we go. And now I'm going to put these bad boys on this wall here and just wait them out like so. Uh, well, you know, wait for them to finish it like so. Now, by the way, this is the first cave of the area, but I'm not going to bother with that just yet. I am going to go up and around here. Uh, maybe there's going to be some sprays in here. Who knows? Could be. Nope, no sprays. And all, I got all flowers too, so it's kind of... Uh, kind of pointless to be just, you know, eating up sprays when I can't even, I mean, getting those sorts of uh, nectars and I can't even deal with, uh, I mean, when I can't even use them. But I suppose if I, uh, if I have Pikmin, I end up getting de-leave, I mean, de-flowered, yeah, uh, that'll be fine. Um, now, we got a sort of a conundrum to go here. Yeah, we got a lot of enemies here, and including a above-ground Gatling Groink, of all things. Yeah, this is a pretty tricky area to deal with since you're pretty much forced to do it with just blues. I'd like to get you a little bit further away here. There we go. That should work. Oh! It followed me! <laughs> you stinker! You stinker! Okay, I'm gonna distract it. And I'm gonna go around. And I'm gonna start by whacking it. Don't get... Oh! No poison. No poison. <laughs> this is such a pain of a setup. <laughs> Actually, couldn't I damage that well, Wally Wong with the Gatling Grunk shots? Maybe. I'm not sure offhand. Yeah, it does work. Sweet! <laughs> I was correct. Okay, shoot there. Good boy, and I will take you out. I'm not dealing with a very large Pikmin squad, because as you know, the larger your squad is, the harder it is to deal with. So, yeah. I'm okay with having a small squad to deal with said threats like this, and luckily it doesn't have too many H too much HP. However, 
As you know, it's gonna revive if we do not take it back to the base, so I'm gonna carry it back with, uh... Actually, I should carry it back with all these bad boys, because, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while to do that. And now I'm gonna continue clearing out that route with this squad of blues, because they took down that wall very nicely. And maybe I'll throw a couple more blues onto the Gatling Grunk's corpse on the way back, uh, just to be sure that they'll make it back in time. Uh, okay, that looks like they maxed out there, okay, so that's all we can do. And uh, now we're gonna take them through here and take on Cloaking Burrownits. Yeah! It doesn't have much HP, there we go. <laughs> and now for you, my fire-breathing friend. Yeah, now I can use some of those nectar droplets. <laughs> And it's gonna blow fire on them, and I'm gonna have to blow the fire off them, yeah. <laughs> I know the drill. Oh, no, one more. We all know the drill of having to deal with these guys when you don't have the right colored Pikmin. And there we go. Now they're gonna build that, and I can get Pikmin across there. More uh, specifically, the white Pikmin. So I might as well get them across here. Uh, they're gonna get that bridge done pretty quickly, though. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, leave... Uh, the president over there, and I'm gonna go and grab my blues back at base so we can get everyone together. And la 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 la, doo, 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 doo. there we go, pluck a phone, thank you. So, so handy. So, so handy. You have no idea how handy it is unless you've had the pluck a phone. Uh, Alright, now let's. I guess I gotta run those leaves through those nectar droplets uh, while I wait for them to finish the bridge because I didn't hear a. <laughs> A finishness. Oh, I didn't want to. Nah, that's fine. I was gonna say I didn't want to use both those nectar droplets. Just get them all in one. Uh, let's throw those blues onto said bridge, and then I'll be able to get the whites onto that wall. There we go. Now they're gonna really be in turbo mode. <laughs> uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, there's this path here, which is further, uh, further through the area. Uh, but I'm not gonna be working on that too hard. It's going to be mainly focused on uh, clearing the way, uh, like I typically do on my first days through places, uh, so I can do things much more efficiently on future days. And this will be no exception, that is my strategy. There we go, we're finished! And dismiss, get the whites, and go across, go to the poison! This is a very black poison wall, so it's, uh, it might take them a while. So, what we can do here is grab the Pikmin squad across the river and start clearing stuff down the other ways. And hopefully they won't get poisoned. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Now we can go through here and explore what is most likely creeping chrysanthemum territory. Uh, I know, I know. Here. Yep. <laughs> and now, while that's getting bothered, I'm going to attack the creeping chrysanthemum that's here. And oh no 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 don't 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 oh got some blues. What a waste. Take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. Good. Very good. Oh, another poison wall, of course! Because you gotta have walls that my least amount of colored Pikmin are uh, dealing with, of course. <laughs> okay... Because, you know, I lost all those whites, so you gotta have a bunch of poison walls just because. Now, I know they're always here, it's just that I just got really lucky regarding the whites and the poison walls. Alright, let's get them taken care of. I didn't do this properly uh, when I battled it before. I was supposed to stun it with purples, but I, but I jumped the gun there. There we go. It's an easy enemy if you do it properly. And I get the purples set up. And then we get... Ready? There we go! Go, 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 go! One of these critters has something good that we need. And, uh... Wait, some, one of them does. I think it might be... Uh, where? Oh, there it is! It's this right here, this acorn. Yeah, I'm gonna throw yellows on that just because. Uh, yellows aren't really all that needed in the overworld for the most part. Uh, let's take a look-see up here and see how things are going. Um, oops, I forgot I didn't leave a captain back there. Uh, let's see, up here, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> uh, let's look around. At least I at least I didn't see anything uh, regarding the treasure detector. No, it would have went off uh, as I was getting closer to something there. So let's go through here. 
Mm, nope, still nothing there. By the way, as you've seen, there's another cave up over on that side. That's uh, in the corner of... Uh, oh, I can't walk up there. That's right. Oops. <laughs> I gotta go take the long way around here. I've, that, this was mainly for the uh, the nut here, and I suppose I, that uh, you could take stuff back. But uh, I'm still waiting on those whites. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Man, you whites. You guys might be speedy, but your attack power is very weak. Oh, they just knocked down notch after I said that, of course. Uh, we'll get some of that. Chuck a couple on there. Get the yellow numbers up. Uh, you, you purple's gonna take forever. <laughs> let's do this. And then let's do this. And then let's do this. Wait, actually, maybe we need the blues for something. Uh, cause isn't there like a fiery ball blacks behind that gate? That would be nice to wipe out. Hmm, yeah, maybe I'll save myself from reading up Pikmin just... Oh, got back with the nut. Very nice. And then uh, go back to that other underground area. Woo! Yeah! Armored nuts! Wah! Okay, so will they get that wall down? Perhaps. Will I get the Pikmin through here without casualties? I doubt it. <laughs> I just because that I'm so worried about the poison. Uh, what I want to do here is I want to go back and hey, hey, did you spawn? Where did you spawn from? <laughs> I thought I cleared out this area already. All right. Well, anyway, let's. So I suppose get those out and a couple of the blues that I lost. And go and take on the snitch bug, I suppose, with this small squad while it gets preoccupied with stuff. Aha! <laughs> yeah, I know I don't have an ideal setup for this here right now because I typically take them on with larger squads and whatnot. But, uh, oh, they're done with the wall. Sweet. Okay, now fiery ball black. Oh, no, it's not fiery ball blacks behind there. So I could take it on with my squad. So I didn't need the red. I mean, need any sorts of reds or I didn't need to lead the fiery ball blacks into water or anything like that. Yeah, I heard that Pikmin scream being attacked by uh, uh, the uh, swooping stitch bug. Not a big deal since I can pluck a phone them. But, you know, still, it's a, it's a thing of that you don't really want to uh, get them. Ah! deflowered if at all possible because apparently uh, Pikmin can uh, get deflowered if they stay in the ground for too long. Stop that. I need you for this attacking sequence. <laughs> and there we go. By the way, there's the other underground area I was talking about. Alright, now I should get my team together here because we are getting close to... Um, eh, actually, maybe I should leave that treasure for another day because I don't think they're gonna make it back in time it's right out in the open here because I cleared it all so it's just gonna be waiting for us here the next time we come through so that'll be nice uh, no one in the water please no one in the water please oh oh wait that's a swooping stitch bug okay <laughs> okay everyone that's slow please catch up as quickly as you possibly can because it's almost sun though <laughs> Alright, so let's stoop through the nectar. And eh, not bad. Okay, and... Yep. I gotta take care of you, don't I? <laughs> you are just going to cause me issues for all of eternity if I don't. There we go. <laughs> okay, 94... Hold on, I wanna see... Uh, okay, there's a blue there, really? Uh, as you see, I, I cleared out this area pretty dang well so far. Uh, there's that That's my strategy on the first day, is to really clear things out so I can prepare myself for later stuff. Wait, is there something under the onion? Where's the other six? Well, I would say five, because there's one blue back here. Oh, you're carrying this, okay. Well, what I want to do here is get over to that hole, so I don't know where the stragglers are. <laughs> it always seems like I lose stragglers somewhere lately. I just don't know why. Uh, but anyway, that this place is the first wall we knocked down where that uh, um, crab was. And uh, yeah, so that's nice and ready for us to go through with blues. But we can't go through there yet. We gotta go down here. Ooh. Wait. From all appearances, this is a particularly frightening crevice, and Theta is horrifying! 
Courage is one thing, but recklessness is something else. Perhaps we should turn back? Well, if you still wish to enter, keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. So what is this place anyway? Let's, uh, let's take a look at the name here. The Cavern of Chaos! And, hmm... Perhaps I should have reds on hand. Hmm... Hmm... Maybe I'll be able to trade colors as I go along. I mean, I can deal with threats without reds, but I just didn't really need them for today. Maybe the fiery ball blocks that I was thinking of wasn't here and not in the overworld? But in any case, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.